Hi guys, today I want to share with you 8 methods for adding an illusion of depth. So if you don't want your images to look flat and two dimensional, then let's get started. One of the most important methods that can add depth to our image is lighting. With light and shadow, we make our image more three dimensional. To add more depth, we have to create layers of light and dark. We can choose how much contrast we are adding depending on the genre we are shooting. But without shaping the light at all, our image ends up being flat. If you can't shape your scene by adding lighting fixtures, you can find places and camera angles that can add more depth. Next method that comes with lighting is color contrast. But you can also add it with production design, by choosing how the location looks and with specific outfits for your characters. Changing color temperature or adding RGB lights can separate different layers of our image even more. Just if you are shooting something like narrative films, I would advise to motivate that choice. But that's just a personal preference. You can make very stylized looks if you like. Cinema police will not stop you. Squad. Next method is perspective. It will be the most effective, especially on wider shots. But not only. Try to look for leading lines and use them to your advantage. You can enhance the effect and add dynamism by making low or high angles with your camera. Same with focal length. With wide angle lenses you can achieve more dynamic lines, but it also had to fit the project you are working on. Sometimes you don't want too much distortion. Shallow depth of field is probably the most popular and very often overused method to add depth, but it's still a great way to separate your subject from the background. I love shallow depth of field myself. Just try to not overdo it. Sometimes it is better to stop down the lens. Too much of this effect can make your image look amateur, so be careful of that. Adding more layers in the background and foreground is one of the best ways to add depth, and if we combine it with layers of light, it makes our image much more appealing. Even if you are shooting in the environment when you can't change what's on location, you can always find something which will act like layers. Now when we have layers of background and foreground objects, we can add movement and create a parallax effect to create even more depth. And just like everything else, don't go crazy with movement. Make sure that it makes sense in your project. Another method is the atmosphere, which can occur in weather, through fog or even rain but it can also be created by things like fog machines. Atmosphere reduces contrast in the background, so the foreground objects are popping out more. If used well, it can make the image look really nice. Reflections work well, especially when your set feels empty or small. It can extend what is visible in the frame. You can look for reflective surfaces like mirrors, windows, etc. But water can also add a lot of texture. For example, wet floor after rain can look really nice. You can even wet the floor on set yourself, if it fits the scene, some floors also have reflections to some degree, which is also adding depth to the image. So of course the more of these methods you use, the more depth you can add. But just remember that everything needs to fit the story you want to tell, and to the mood you want to convey, so choose them wisely. That's all I got for you today, let me know in the comments if this video was helpful for you, and if you want to see more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you next time.